Winston Churchill once said that the secret of long life is no sports and a good flea control. With this piece of wisdom in mind, let's continue with the final episode of our three-part miniseries, The Amazing World of Fleas, and how the hell to kill them for good. But first, check out parts 1 and 2 if you haven't done so yet. It might be a hard thing to admit that your pet and home are infested with fleas. After all, fleas don't go to clean places, right? Wrong. So don't be ashamed, it can happen to anyone. Nobody is going to laugh at you. <coughs> the question is, what are you going to do about it? Your main goal is to remove all fleas from your pet for good. The poor thing is in discomfort and you can't sleep at night because of the f***ing scratching noise. You want something to kill fleas with, but how do you make a pick at 3am on a Sunday when there are like a bazillion anti-flea products out there? With some being so cheap, you wish you had more flea-infested pets so you could buy a 12-pack, and others so expensive, you wonder if hiring a hitman to assassinate all fleas individually would be a better deal. Plus, there are all these different formulations, colors, spot-ons, tablets, sprays and whatnot. Don't they all just do the same thing, kill the fleas and call it a day? Well, some do simply that, but here's the problem. Fleas don't stay dead. As you know from earlier, only 5% of the flea population is actually on your pet. The rest inhabit the environment in the form of eggs, larvae and pupae, impatient to grow up and infest your pet again. Dead fleas, therefore, are quickly replaced by new ones very much alive. To be successful, you need to take care of the environmental flea population as well. Most of the young parasites can be removed physically, by thorough vacuuming of your entire home. And I mean obsessive-compulsive thorough. You missed a spot there. When you're finished, dispose of the dust bag in an innovative manner or burn it. Whatever your pet spends a lot of time resting on, which can act as a juvenile flea shelter, such as blankets, bath sheets, and grandmothers, wash in hot water or, if not valuable, throw them away. Using disinfectants is also an option, but your Turkish rug and mahogany floor may not approve of this idea. With some dedication, you can dramatically reduce the flea population, but some portion of eggs, larvae and pupae will still manage to hide from your subnuclear attacks Hello. and reboot the infestation at their leisure. So how to perfect this imperfect plan? Wait, wait, wait. There are alternatives. The goals are still valid, but you can't achieve them overnight. The war on fleas has to be a long-term commitment. Like marriage, but more serious. We know that juvenile fleas can't remain hiding forever. They will all have to come forward one day and claim a host. At this point, it's way easier to access them, and if you could... I don't know, somehow prevent them from spawning a new generation, the flea population will eventually die out. If not directly by your hand, then by natural causes like old age, starvation and boredom. Breaking the reproductive cycle is the permanent but not instant solution to your flea problem. Doing so will clear your home of flea infestation at the latest by Judgment Day, but generally within two to six months. And here's where all those different kinds of anti-flea products come in. You see, there's not just a single way to break the cycle. One option would be to maintain the killing effect on adult fleas. Plenty of products are available for your pet, which not only kill the original infesting population, but turn your pet into a living flea terminator for weeks or months. Any new flea trying to infest your pet will die a peaceful death. If you're a flea rights activist, or simply don't want to get the blood of fleas on your hands, you may consider using insect growth regulators or IGRs on your pet. 
These are substances which mimic insect hormones, regulating the transformation of fleas. They will not allow the parasite to advance to the next level of development. Eggs will not hatch and larvae will die molting or pupating, or the inside of the pupa will become a freak teleporter accident with an unviable half-larva half-flea creature. Fully developed fleas, on the other hand, don't give a flying f about IGRs. So how does treating the pet, which is only infested by adults, make any sense? It's because female fleas, although totally unfazed, lay unviable eggs under IGR influence, which eventually leads to extinction. Juvenile fleas already present in the environment can be affected as well to a lesser extent if they ingest either IGR-rich feces produced by adults or IGR-coated skin debris shed by the pet. Simple contact with the pet can work as well. The dominant mode of action depends on the specific IGR product. As you might have guessed, all this takes time, so you'll have to be a little more patient than a squirrel on cocaine to notice the effect of IGRs. What neither killing ingredients nor IGRs can achieve is the total prevention of flea bites. That's because newly arriving fleas, unless they somehow die instantly, will start feeding even in the face of their impending doom. Run, you fools! <sighs> Nothing suspicious here. Let's eat. This is not just annoying, but potentially worrisome, considering the disease carrier role of the flea. The more time the flea spends on the host, the higher the chances of transmitting diseases. You can take care of this problem and break the cycle at the same time by introducing long-term flea repellency on your pet, scaring the fleas away from doing anything nasty. So you can kill or repel fleas or stunt their growth, but how do you apply these effects on the pet? The most popular alternatives are medicated collars, spot-ons and tablets. You can also find sprays and there are prehistoric formulations too, like shampoos, powders, enchanted bed essence and so on. Keep in mind that only long-acting products can break the reproductive cycle and be truly effective against flea infestation. Also, if you can buy them for cents at the liquor store, maybe they are not the best ones. If you're the Swiss army knife type of person who thinks that a single tool should work as a toothbrush, a telephone and a bucket of crickets at the same time, I'm happy to inform you that plenty of products combine killing, repellency and insect growth regulation. Notice that protecting your pet with these long-acting products doesn't just clear existing infestations, but prevents possible future ones as well. After all, you may have eradicated fleas in your home, but is the war ever really over? Can a stray cat, a possum or Bigfoot not visit your garden at night to drop a couple hundred flea eggs on your doormat? Do you think the abandoned foxhole your dog dove into during a stroll in the forest is truly abandoned? Any environment where flea-infested animals may have spent some time is a potential source of flea infestation itself. <clears throat> but be it for treatment or prevention, which product is the bestest? The one that outshines all the others, achieves world peace and you can quickly buy for your wedding anniversary tonight. Generally, you want to prefer products that, while breaking the reproductive cycle as they should, deal with fleas before they bite, poop or, god forbid, get eaten. However, there are some practical considerations that could make you choose otherwise. What are these? You'll just have to watch this video to find out. All in all, not every formulation can perform every action and the ideal product is defined by your circumstances. If you can't make up your mind, just hold your pee. According to a study, the bigger your urge to go, the faster and better decisions you make. And then ask your bet. Tough decisions? Summing it up. Fleas are common parasites of cats and dogs, but humans are also on their menu. They are a nuisance and occasionally cause life-threatening conditions and carry dangerous diseases. 
The flea population is split by age between the host and the environment, and once they settle somewhere, they are f***ing hard to get rid of. Like that one thought stuck in your head for some stupid reason. Breaking the parasite's reproductive cycle is the most important aspect of treating and preventing flea infestation. There. Now go and think about what's just been said. Health. It makes you live longer. Actually, there are whale fleas. <laughs> no, just kidding. Or am I? Yes. The technical information in this video was fact-checked by Professor Michael Dryden of Kansas State University, who goes by the nickname Dr. Flea. So, obviously, he's the best. I thank him very much, as much as I thank Siva for its support. If you've made it this far, why not like, comment or subscribe, or check out my other videos. I know it would make at least one of us happy. 